Hey, what's going on everybody? This is William at the Movement Shop. Today we're gonna to be talking about an exercise that's an anti-rotational exercise. So if we're dealing from with something from like one side of the hip or one side of the low back that tends to aggravate you more than the other, um, this can be a solution to that problem. So this is a bird dog, which is you know kind of a traditional PT exercise, but we're gonna throw in like a little flair to make it um, a little bit more functional, a little bit more challenging. Now, I like this exercise as a anti-rotational exercise, meaning that we're really gonna work on core stability. So yes, they can, this can help if we're dealing with strength, like a strength issue, not gonna really help with mobility, but it's really gonna help with motor control. So if we're having a motor control issue, this is gonna be the one for you. So what we're gonna do is, is we can have a weight here, I'll show you that one after, but you're going to be on an elevated surface. This could be two chairs, a bench, the outside of your bed, um, but we're gonna be having one hand through the front and then the uh, same leg is going backwards, okay? So this leg comes back, the right leg comes up. What we're thinking about is keeping our rib cage down. So pretend like you have a soda can underneath your ribs and above your pelvis, you're gonna try to smash the soda can by keeping a flat back. So we're gonna come through the top here and then right back. I'll show you from the side. So if we're doing these, Right, I'm keeping a nice flat back here. As I come through the top, I wanna to make sure I stay in that flat position. I'm not going into like that arch position where now I'm getting like a uh, holding of my low back muscles. So we're going straight out through the side here like this, holding it and then coming right back. If we wanna make it a little bit more challenging, we're gonna add a weight. So now opposite hand is gonna have the weight, it's coming straight down. We're gonna hold that good position, and then you're just gonna row the weight up and down here like this, keeping your belly braced, your, your uh, glutes engaged, and through the top. Now, a fault that I see here with this is this. I'll show you this one from the front. If we're doing this exercise, a fault for the outside hip not working very well, or efficiently, I should say, is we start to rotate up this way. So you can see, if I bring myself down, I'm rotating my hips that way. We wanna keep it relatively flat so we keep the belly engaged. And now we're working that anti-rotation. So I'll give that one a shot. If you have any questions, let me know. Have an awesome rest of your day.